and my events are called the Women's Gathering. There's something Nikki Ross does every day to keep her dreams alive. We just have to speak life in it. So speaking things into existence. If she can see it, she's convinced she can be it. But it took years for her to grasp that. Ross hasn't always been this sure of herself. She remembers. The dark places I've been, um, the letdowns I've had, um, being told that I would never be anything. She says she made a choice not just to survive painful life circumstances, but to thrive despite a once dark journey that could have easily held her back. But she decided you can be free, set free from it. And I, I am fortunate enough to say that I was set free from um, being a high school dropout um, to being molested at the age of 12. Um, so all of my experiences in life, I know that they will help someone. A few years ago, Ross began organizing women's empowerment events, recently drawing in more than 100 women quickly learning many of the women there drew parallels to their own lives. They'd be like, oh, you know, well, that happened to me or I went through that. And, you know, I was like, okay, well, things that I've overcame, I can go and, you know, talk to other women in hopes that my experiences in life will be help or healing to someone else. Ross has seen the pandemic leave many women struggling with mental health, so she's using creative ways to get them to tap into their feelings and press forward. She's planning a women's gathering called Speak Things Into Existence to encourage women that they too can push past the pain of their past and boldly claim all that life has to offer. It was just me to go through it and for God to set me free so that I'm able to share it with someone like, okay, well, if she's able to do it, then uh, overcome it, I can too. Speak Things Into Existence is Ross's next women's gathering. It's a painting event March 26th. She's also planning an even bigger event in September. Women across the area are invited to attend. And for ticket information, go to our website, WTVR.com.